Valley View taken near the future site of O'Brien's Inn. Note there are no river bridges or farm silos, not to mention there's no Interstate 86. Here's Broad Street looking west. Note the street lamps. Waverly, New York was a busy place. Christian and Missionary Alliance built in 1919 at 135 Shemung Street. The pastor in 1927 was W. Davis. St. James Catholic Church, built in 1912 at 503 Clark Street, Father Devon. Waverly United Methodist Church, built in 1914 at 158 Shemung Street, Pastor George Connell. Grace Episcopal Church, established 1853, 439 Park Avenue, Pastor Reverend Lund. First Baptist Church, built in 1891, at 23 Tioga Street. The pastors in 1927 were Reverend Dahlman and Reverend Mercer. Presbyterian Church built in 1886 at 459 Park Avenue. Pastor A.O. Caldwell. Hepzibah Bible Church, built in the late 1800s and was torn down in 1962 and is the present site of Kinsley Chiropractic Service at 551 Broad Street. Here's the Albertson Building at 378 Broad Street. The Theater Arts House still stands in the year 2000. Town Hall. The far right stall was for horses. Notice the brownstone balcony over the sidewalk. A handsome but unidentified gentleman. President Severance, president of Severance General Store, located across from Town Hall on Broad Street and is the present day site of the dollar store. Dana Boyle, police chief of Waverly, New York, 1927. This policeman is possibly John Golden, who lived on Loader Street in 1927. And this unknown gentleman is possibly a town official. Fire Chief Lee Stark, who became mayor of Waverly later on. First National Bank on the corner of Fulton and Broad Street. Notice the water fountain and street light combination. Frank Howard looks like he wants us to come in for some cash before the big crash. Citizens National Bank on the corner of Waverly and Broad Street is the present day site of Broad Street Park. The building was destroyed by fire in the 1970s.
Keesim Reserve, superintendent of Waverly Schools in 1927, and lived on Fulton Street. Joe Adams ran the antique store where the Capitol Theater marquee is today. Story has it that fire started in Joe's store and quickly took out the entire block of buildings. Mr. Comerford then came from New York City to clean up the site and built the Capitol Theater. Mr. and Mrs. Wilton Hall. Mr. Hall lived on Shimon Street. Mr. Hall was vice president of Halls and Lyons Furniture Company and is the present day site of Lefty's and Ramon's Kitchen and Bath, Mr. Muldoon and the Reverend Lund of Grace Episcopal Church. Mr. Muldoon was the father of Mary Muldoon. Mary Muldoon was the principal of Muldoon School on Park Avenue in Waverly. The Waverly Tawanda football game played in Tawanda, Pennsylvania in October 1926. Here is Waverly coach Fredrich, manager Bill Lynch, along with Waverly team members Art Sharpstein, Don Tracy, Joe Sinal, Ted Canfield, Bob McEwen, Keen, Gorman, Hall, and Adams. Here's the Lehigh Valley Railroad Personnel Tunnel. It connected the railroad shop complex with Lehigh Avenue in Sarah, Pennsylvania. The tunnel went under the railroad yards and thousands of people used it daily. Hartford. Rags, paper, rags. Harry and his horse collected recyclables on Broad Street until his death in the 1960s. Quite a character. He lived in a one-room shack on the east side with his horse. Here's Ezra Briggs, antique dealer and general labor. Looks like Ezra is swearing off something. John Boyce, General Labor, famous for who knows what, lived on Pleasant Street, South Waverly, Pennsylvania. Darb 
Hadlock. There's not much information on this obvious character. An attempt in humor dating. Boy, if only these people could see Broad Street in 2000. Here's Broad Street looking west, a very busy place. Broad Street looking east. This gas company picture was taken from the Capitol Theater's 205 apartment location. The streetcars looking east last ran in 1930. That was the year sound was added to the Capitol Theater. The Capitol Theater Christian Life Church in Waverly, New York. Finished? Not by a long shot. Someday a video sequel showing past and present combined will be made available. <laughs> 